Mick Morgan's pub in Sharon may be 3,300 miles south of the North Pole, but tonight it feels much closer. He's known by many names. Santa Bob. Santa Brian. Santa Dan from Rhode Island. He's got many looks. I think I have more shoes than my wife does. This particular setup is a Victorian one. But no matter the attire, kids seem to find him and know this is Santa. We're not impersonating Santa Claus. We're personifying him. We want that child to walk away and say, that was the real Santa. Being Santa is no small challenge, which is why Santa Dan Greenleaf founded the New England Santa Society 11 years ago. The whole purpose of the organization was to create a structure where Santas could get together and just get to know each other. Ho, ho, ho. One thing they learned is that every Santa's different from their favorite holiday song. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Santa Claus is coming to town. To their favorite movie. It's a wonderful life. It's Miracle on 34th Street. Even no two <laughs>, laughs are the same. <laughs> Merry Christmas. But they all have one big thing in common where it counts. They all have the best heart in the world. While the legend of Santa goes back more than 1,700 years, the 2022 documentary, Santa Camp, filmed right here in New England, takes a contemporary look at the familiar image. They were really interested in looking at diversity in, in the Santa community. I mean, one was a Mrs. Claus, but there was also a black Santa, uh, a trans Santa, and then a Santa who's a member of our group who is nonverbal, but his goal in life was always to be Santa. And it was such an honor to be part of telling that story. And Santa's guiding purpose remains the same. It's the kids. It's the absolute joy that I bring to the children. And a little kindness doesn't hurt. And as Clement Moore famously wrote, but I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all. And to all, a good night. And one thing we learned hanging with so many Santas is that they do not wear costumes, they wear suits. Suits, now you can go online and find a Santa suit for about $60, <laughs> but these gentlemen generally invest somewhere between $600 to $1,000 wow. for a quality suit. So they are literally and financially invested. That is Chronicle <laughs> for tonight. Thanks so much, everyone. I'm Anthony Everett. And I'm Shana Seymour. Have a good evening, everyone.